All right, welcome back, guys. I feel calm today, Gavin. Welcome back to the Mustang Minute, where we're going to share with you all things that are important to our campus. I am your um, podcast manager, Mr. Mackey. I'm Gabrielle Aldridge. I'm anchor. Follow us on all social media, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, since you're here, might as well. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to this channel so you can get keep updated on what's going on at Austin High School. Mm. Weekly announcements on what's happening this week. All right. So first thing that's happening this week, guys, is uh, your schedules if you still have problems with the schedules now would be the best time before you're locked into those classes to reach out to your counselors for any adjustments if you guys are uh what i'm finding my students are battling with is making sure that they can see all of their classes um what you need to do with that is reach out to your teacher and just let them know that you can't see it or that it's not on your calendar a teacher can adjust that and fix that for you really really easily uh, if you can't see the teacher because your schedule changed and you don't even know who your second period teacher is, for example, then reach out to one of your other teachers. We can look up your schedules in our system and we can tell you who it is and we can even work with you to message that teacher so that the teacher can uh, make the adjustments on their end. These are small, easy things that we can do uh, to help you out. And so it's not a big deal. Just let someone know that you're going through it so that we're able to go ahead and make that adjustment. New clubs, New clubs alert can join the band for rock and roll. If you want, you can go to Mr. Burr's room in room 5315 or the team's chat where they mainly have all of their um, things every Tuesday from 415 to 530 p.m. on campus. You can also um, look into the Bible study club. You can um, take a screenshot and scan this right here or do it now. And from there, you can get all the information of what is going on with that club. Mm -hmm. Want to be in it? Get in it. Project. Oh, <laughs> Project <laughs> Healthy Minds. It's Project Healthy Minds and Healthy Hearts is actually going on here on campus. And so just a recap of where we are today, you guys did the gratitude wall on campus in the cafeteria. It looks lovely. It was good to see you all using your sticky notes, people being grateful just for what they have and just, you know, their loved ones and their pets even and their teachers and parents and the sunshine and all kinds of things that people were just grateful for. And so it was just really a beautiful thing. The Valentine's Day attire was great. The candy jars. Uh, we had these candy jars right here. Um, and then shout out to Mr. Charity and Miss Kennedy and um, Miss Vanessa's and Shout out to Ms. Marlene Rodriguez and uh, Ms. Pena and those that I haven't mentioned here that is just escaping my mind right now that help or is helping Mr. R Mr. Runnels that's helping with this this project this week. So the winners for these jars, uh, we had a student, Roel Gonzalez. Good job, Roel. Allison Lopez and Ms. Randone. Those were the three winners of the jars here on campus. Excellent job, students. Excellent, excellent. Um, and then right here, um, the next thing is food truck day. Food truck day is going to be tomorrow. So again, Friday, food truck day. We'll be doing food truck day one day a month from here all the way till the end of the school year. Uh, bring your dollars out tomorrow. <laughs> hey, got us again. <laughs> Can we wrap it up in such time? Yeah. Uh, bring your dollars out tomorrow, food truck day. Come out and eat a bite with us. Have a good time with us out in the in the courtyard or if it's raining in the actual cafeteria area. Look forward to that. Uh, if you have any kind of needs, if you're feeling alone, if you're feeling um, anything that is just not positive and whatever it is that you may go through, we want to always keep coming back and remind you that we have support systems on campus for you. Reach out to your counselor. Um, reach out to uh, Ms. Marlene Rodriguez or Ms. Manessis. Their emails are here. Um, for you to be able to connect with them. The first step is always right here, guys, reach out. Always make sure to reach out, okay? Not alone. We love you here. Reach out. Let us help, okay? Black History Month. 
we're celebrating back History Month this uh, month, of course. We have a door decorating contest to represent our Black history. You can see there's a bunch of pictures of how many or people who are doing their best to represent it. And I'm sure Mr. Mackey has um, some stuff on his mind about it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> all right. And so, yeah, a shout out to all teachers that are not only teachers, because I heard some of the staff members that are going to get into Black History Month, making sure the doors are decorated and the school is looking festive and we do this thing the right way. So shout out to all that are out there working on it or thinking, like Gabby said, thinking up the, the ideas on what they want to do. I'm right along with you. I'm going to get started here soon. The uh, judge day, uh, the judgment day for the contest, I think is on February the 23rd. So let's get it up. Let's be proud. Let's get our students involved in helping with the doors as well. I look forward to seeing your amazing work and hopefully you like mine, you know. Our Black History highlight, is this is one of the highlights from the campus. Uh, we are um, showcasing him because he is uh, a figure that worked very hard uh, or, or had to go out of his way really to even find freedom, I guess I should say. And his name was Henry Box Brown. The box part of his name was a nickname and it came from the fact that he escaped slavery by mailing himself uh, in a wooden crate um, to uh, Pennsylvania where he could be free. And he did that at 33. And this is just, you know, what we envision him looking like or what he, what he would have gone through, you know, in that, in that moment, you know, imagine yourself being mailed, you know, somewhere, but that shows you how uh, much, how much of a desire he had to be free, you know, to live his own life and not be controlled by someone else. He would go through that. And so thankfully in these days, you know, because of the fight and the struggle that so many have endured and that they've gone through and won, we don't have to endure that now. So shout out to Mr. Brown and uh, so many others in Black history that we'll be highlighting throughout the month. The math student competition is happening um, next month. Hopefully everyone joins it. We're gonna have a blast. As you can see, there's a bunch of colorful ideas. You could try to do it. Um, you can do it. Oh. <laughs> you can, even if you're not even, even if you're not in person, you could still uh, compete. Do you just have fun while um, creating it? Breaking news. Join the wait list to receive your COVID-19 vaccine. If you want it, um, a free COVID test, you um, screenshot, screenshot this on your phone or whatever you're watching this video on. Go to that link on top, the first one, and you will find out more information about it. And for the wait list to get it, you go to the second link and you'll find out way more info than we could give you. Sports news. We have a basketball game coming up Saturday on the 13th. We are going against Watchup High School. It's going to be at the Barnett Field House at one o'clock. So make sure you get your tickets. Then we have another game coming up. Um, Madison? No, uh, Milby. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're having it at Milby. So make sure y'all go into that. It's for the soc the soccer team. All right, and then <laughs> that's where I'm supposed to make sure I clock out. <laughs> <You see? laughs> there it is shout out to miss maldonado if you're watching this i'm gonna clock out ma'am all right uh yes all coaches I, I reached out to coach uh young early so he'll be giving me the stats moving forward but if you have an organization out there that um you want to make sure that we represent make sure to get that over to me so that we can get it into the news we want to make sure to highlight uh what you guys have going on uh, around the campus as much as possible so students that are on campus and off campus can you know really uh, join in on the efforts on campus and this is the last thing that's going to take us out guys we have a quote here when they go low we go high that's what michelle obama said we know it is a famous thing that she said and i try to live by it what are your thoughts on that quote gabby i 
I was a huge fan of Michelle Obama. So all of her quotes she had, I love them, especially this one. It just brings so much positivity to um, everyone. Just like to just to brighten up their day. So I really do um, have a positive um, thought on this quote. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. And I do too, because um, it's so many struggles that we go through and so many people have so much to say. And this world is getting uh, more and more vocal as we go through it, it seems, especially like with social media and people feeling like they can say what they want to say on social media. And, you know, so many people that um, try to attack you and just so much negativity out there in the world. And sometimes it's just better for you to just not feed into it. It's better to just go high, like she said, you know, you, we can get down there and wallow with them and say things back and forth and just let them have our energy or we could just not. And I would side on the just not. It's easier for you. It's, le it's less stress. Let's just not. If people are challenging you in that way or, or, or making you feel that way, go high, you know, take the higher road, the easier, the less, the, the harder road traveled is the road where you say nothing and just move on with your day. Don't let people control your energy. All right. Thank you, Michelle Obama our forever first lady. And I thank you, Gabby, as well, for being here with me for the second time, uh, being our guest anchor while, you know, the young entrepreneur students get their stuff together for the next week. Uh, as always, let's go Mustangs. Let's go.